What is good, guys? My brother here, back again. Welcome back to another edition of Geek Thoughts. As always, guys, and as you all know, with Geek Thoughts, I take a topic from geek culture, uh, pop culture, things like that, and we talk about it. And today, oh my God, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while and get your thoughts on it. Um, but for any fans out there that are a fan of this franchise and have all the, the sequels and games um this should be real fun for you guys so it has been announced that sega and yu suzuki have came together with crunchyroll and toonami and they're bringing his hit series shenmue to well not the big screen but to the small screen it's going to be a 13 part animated series so it's going to be just Shenmue animated now you all know the story about this if you've never played uh, Shenmue the story goes it takes place in 1986 in uh, Yoko, Yokohama I believe um, Japan a young man known as Ryo um, Hazuki um, witnesses the death of his father uh, by a man known as Landi um, and from there, Ryu, Ryo basically goes on a quest to find the, his, his father's murderer, which takes him from Japan all the way into the metropolitan beauty that is Hong Kong. Um, and also, we start to learn more about the situation that why his father was killed and what is these special mirrors that uh, Landy took from his father's possession, what they all mean. Um, so there's going to be a 13 part, a 13 part uh, anime. It's going to air on Toonami here in the States. No real uh, time limit, no real date has been set, but I will leave um, a link in the description down below for you guys to check it out. I like this approach. Um, I really do. It's it's really cool to see sometimes, you know, great video game series get maybe animated or anim or turned into animes. Um, this works perfectly for Shenmue. It really does. It's it's never a case like okay that that's stupid, but no, it works. Um, sometimes by doing an animated or anime, it it gives us more free range, gives the creators more free range than trying to put out a movie or a TV series and then more of the time that's where the troubles start, creative differences. We all heard that before, creative differences and while the director and the producers and stuff, they, they have their own vision, you know, uh, this is what they want to do, this is what they want to keep true to the source material while maybe the studio is like well add this to it and add that to it things like that but Shenmue coming to Toonami and anime 13 parts now we don't know how much it, they're probably gonna not cram everything into it like for the you know the game the game was like the game is it was different, but I'm sure they're gonna just they're gonna cram in one probably one part one and part two. I don't know if they're gonna cram in part three, but I'm sure they're gonna cram in the first two where Ryu is Ryo is in Japan for a while. He's looking for the Chiyu men and, and Landy and meets you know Wee Chan and all of them. And then of course he goes in goes to Hong Kong and then he finds more indication of what is going on. But I love this approach, guys. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this. Um, Shenmue coming to Toonami as an anime, 13 part anime. That's a pretty good round number, even though I wish it was 14 episodes. But outside of that, yeah. What say you guys? Are you, are you looking forward to this or are you not? I look forward to hearing your perception and answers. That being said, guys, thank you for watching. This is the... <laughs> Y'all know what I mean, guys. Uh, but other than that, you guys take care.